Yeah, that's true, Joe. We are definitely busy. This Cowboys second practice of the day in full pads going on right behind us. Before you ask, yes, Tony Romo is out there in full pads, but a lot of defensive linemen aren't. Uh, free agent departures and injuries have decimated this line, and it has the Cowboys front office looking for answers. Is one of the answers a, a former manslaughter convicted guy who just getting out of rehab? Well, it could be because you see, Josh Brent has filed for reinstatement to the NFL and he will meet with Commissioner Roger Goodell later this week, according to ESPN. Brent retired from the NFL before his intoxication manslaughter trial and the death of his best friend and teammate Jerry Brown in December of 2012. Brent served 180 days in jail, 45 days in his rehab facility, just released this past Monday. If reinstated, the Cowboys would own his rights. So what do the coach and the owner think? You know, I do believe he's a football player and he has football ahead of him, but uh, first things first, we want to make sure that he gets his feet on the ground as a person back in society, and, uh, and uh, he needs to know that we support him. It's a great opportunity for him, under the circumstances, to have made the mistake that he made, to uh, uh, do some really good, help a lot of people. Now, Brent's teammates, almost to a man, support his return to the NFL, as does the family of the late Jerry Brown. But as we said, Brent has to meet with Commissioner Roger Goodell. There is no way he's getting back into the NFL without a suspension at the very least. We'll find out more on that as in the weeks to come. But for tonight, we will give you the recap of tonight's final practice of the day in full pads, live in Oxnard. With the Cowboys at training camp, I'm Clay Williams, Action for Sports.